Hello good day viewers, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to bisect an angle. To bisect an angle means to divide it into two equal parts. And we are only going to be bisecting angle 90 degrees and angle 60 degrees. So let's start with angle 90 degrees. To construct angle 90 degrees we are going to use a ruler and a protractor. So here is my ruler. I will draw a straight line. Here's a straight line. Next, let me level it as point A and point B. What do we do next? We are going to bring our protractor and place the origin at either B or A. So let me construct the angle at point A. So we are going to use a pencil to place a dot on top of this 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Then remove the protractor, use ruler to connect the two points, the dot and point A. So let me use line segment to do that. What we have here is angle 90 degrees. But I am not going to write the angle because we want to bisect this angle into two equal parts. So let me name this part as C. Okay. Now here is where we're going to use compass. Next, bring out your compass. This is the compass. You can see a compass has a pencil and a pointer. We're going to take the pointer to the vertex of this angle 90 degrees. You can see this is the vertex. What do we do next? We're going to use a convenience radius. You can see this is the radius. I can extend it up and down. A convenience one. If you are okay with the radius, then you are going to construct two arcs to cut line AC and line AB. You can also cut them together. So let me cut them together. So I have constructed an arc. Let me take away my compass. Now let me label the intersection as D and E. This is D. This is E. Now bring your compass again. This is my compass. Place it at either point D or point E. That is the two intersections, the initial intersections. Let me start with D. A convenience radius. This is my convenience radius. I can even extend it a little bit. Now I am going to draw an arc so that it will be halfway this angle 90 degrees. This is an arc. The same radius, take it to point E. Let me take the pointer to point E and cut the initial arc. Can you see that? Now let me take away my compass. Let me call this point of intersection as F, where the two arcs intersected. Now we are done because we are only going to use our ruler to connect point A and point F together. So what you are seeing here is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. This is also 45 making 90 degrees. If you like, you can use your protractor to confirm that let me bring my protractor this is my protractor you can see halfway is 45 because you can see uh, the line af is in between 50 and 40 which is 45 degrees so let me show you how to bisect angle 60 degrees which is almost the same thing bring your ruler draw a straight line take away your ruler Level the two points, we have A and we have B. Bring your protractor. This is my protractor. You can see it is already on point A. You can even take it to point B. Let me take it to point B. Now let me measure clockwise 60 degrees. Let me place the point on 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Take away your protractor. Use your ruler to connect the dot and point B. So what you are seeing here is angle 60 degrees. Let me label the other leg as C. 
the same process we did earlier bring your compass this is my compass take it to the vertex of the angle you can see it at b let me draw two arcs to cut line bc and ba together you can see that then take away the compass let me level the two intersections as d and e now bring back your compass place it at either d or e construct an arc halfway this angle 60 degrees this is convenience for me the same radius do not change the radius but the first arc d e you can use any radius but these two arcs that i am about to construct must have the same radius take it to point d then then cut the first arc you made can you see that take away your compass level the point as f this is the point of intersection and lastly use your ruler to connect point f and b together let me do that so what you're seeing here is 30 degrees each this is 30 degrees this is also 30 degrees you can use your protractor to confirm that you can see this is 30 degrees halfway between 20 and 40 degrees is 30 degrees and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching you have a nice day